Hi, this is Matthias. Today we're going to create a custom wave shape synth in Bitwig. Tag along! Okay, I've added a waveform to my project, a single cycle kind of waveform. And we begin with, uh, on this in empty instrument track, we add a sampler. And to this sampler we drag our waveform. There are a lot of resources on the internet for finding custom wave shapes. Uh, I will put a little link in the description to a few places where you can find the wave shapes. To begin with, it's only playing this uh, wave once. We need to set it to loop mode and we need to set it to note tracking. We can also expand the view for the wave for the sampler. So we can see what we're doing. One way of making this sound bigger is of course to use the new voice stacking. If we increase it to five voices, it's going to play five versions of this sampler. So the volume is going to get a little bit hot. What we can do is make use of this uh, parameter called stack spread. If we activate it and put it on the note pitch, we can make it reese and sound more interesting and bigger. If we add the low pass filter, now we have a bass. But uh, there's also another way we can make this sound bigger. We can add, begin by adding a instrument layer and we drag the sampler into the instrument layer. Now we're going to create a few macros so that we can control different parameters of this sampler. And we begin by creating an empty preset page. We can close this window. And in the modulators panel here, we add a macro 4. And these macros we will add to the attack. We will add the second to the release of the sound. And the third maybe to the starting position. So we can make some phase modulation on the sound. And uh, for the fourth parameter, we're going to first add a note pitch shifter before the sampler. And we're going to add this fourth macro so that we can control the fine tuning. And to set up this, we need to click on the macro 4 controller and add it to the preset pages. Preset page. There we have it. Now we can try it out. In the release. Pad. Okay. And the fine tuning working okay. Now when we have this set up we can duplicate this instrument layer and for the second layer we're going to change the fine tuning which we for the first layer we we made it go downwards and for the second layer we're going to make it go upwards. So press the fine tuning controller and move this upwards instead. So when we move this fine tuning knob we're going to spread the voices to different sides in the pitch. We're also going to spread them by panning them. So for the first layer, make this fine tune knob do some panning to the left and for the second layer we make it pan to the right. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. 
And now if we want to filter on this sound, we can add it to the instrument layer. The effect section here. Add a filter, maybe the ladder. <laughs> Okay, we want this sound to be even bigger because now we only have two voices that are offset in pitch and panning. Let's make it, let's make double this up by pressing both of these and command D, which duplicates them. And we can make the first voice an octave higher and that fourth, the, sorry, the, the third voice and the fourth voice one octave, octave higher. Let's try it out with a filter. Let's add some delay at the end of the chain. Let's make it a little bit more subtle. subtle. Get rid of the mud. A little bit more spread. The cool thing about this is that you can save away this, save this instrument layer and then if you have other waveforms, you can go and add them to this uh, to this uh, instrument layer layers, and uh, suddenly we have a, a brand new synth. Let's do that. We can save it. We drag it over here and give it a name. We can call it custom custom wave synth, and it's a synth, of course. Tag custom wave synth or something so maybe we can find another sound maybe we can add some ness pulse sound let's see how that sounds deactivate the other samplers deactivate the filter we need to activate the looping again a little bit high in volume, decreases the gain. And we add it to the second, the third, and the fourth sampler. Don't forget to add a looping to all of these. Oh, and also decrease the gain for each one.
I also forget about, forgot to mention about the tuning. We can add a polysynth to another layer and compare. And we actually see that it's quite out of tune. So let's deactivate all these oscillators and only <laughs> the samplers, I mean. Only select the first sampler and activate the polysynth. And now we can adjust the pitch of this one to see Okay, so it's a D2. Let's make the other ones D2 also. And if we want to create the bass out of this, we could, uh, if we want, add another layer into the instrument layer. Maybe we can use the phase, phase 4 synthesizer to add some sub bass to this. Let's uh, solo this. And expand the view. Remove some of the second oscillator. Pitch it down. Add some gain. Increase the attack a little bit. Okay, that's how you create a custom wave synth in Bitwig. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.